Hello, welcome back. Uh, this exercise, we're going to calculate another confidence interval estimate for an unknown population mean. Uh, so we'll need a point estimate of the mean, point estimate of the standard deviation, and then uh, we'll use our t tables, because again, we're going to be using the t distribution uh, as a result of not knowing the population standard deviation. Uh, and also, we have a fairly tiny sample that we're working with. So in this exercise, we've got a sample of households. We have their monthly electricity usage. So let's go ahead and calculate the point estimate of the mean. So of course for this we simply uh, add up all of those individual observations and we divide by the total number of observations. So uh, let's just get this out of the way. Here we are. So 320.4 plus 295.6 333.2, and 302.8. And so there's the numerator, there's the sum, all of the electricity used. Uh, and we divide it by the number of observations. Here I have five observations. So our average is 307.8. So x bar is 307.8. Okay, uh, calculate the point estimate of the population standard deviation. So here, that formula, again, we add together all of these squared deviations, add those up. We divide it by n minus 1 and take the square root of all of that. So let's get started, because this can, this can be a slow calculation. 320.4, I'm starting here. And we always, always, always use this as our sample mean, of course. So 320 minus 307.8 squared plus the next one is here, 295.6 minus 307.8 squared. Next is here, 333.2 minus 307.8 squared. And then the next one, 287.9 minus 307.8. And finally, the last one, 302.8 minus 307.8 squared. So there's our numerator, all of this. And then we divide this by n minus 1. We have uh, n is equal to 5. So this is 5 minus 1. And then we take the square root of all of that business. Okay, let me get my calculator again. So, 320.4 minus 307.8 squared plus, I'm going to use brackets here, open that bracket for the next one, 295.6 minus 307.8, close the bracket and square it, plus Open the bracket, 333.2 squared, I need to move my calculator over here, plus, open the bracket, 287.9 minus 307.8, and the last one, 302.8. 307.8 equals 1373.77. And that's just our numerator here. We need to divide that by 5 minus 1 is 4, and take the square root of everything. So I'm going to divide this by 4, and square root, so 18.53 is our standard deviation. So S is 18.53. Good. Now, let's clean all of this up. Now we need to find the T value for a 90% interval. So keep in mind, if we're doing a 90% interval, this is 1 minus alpha is our confidence level. So if 1 minus alpha is a 90%, that means that this is 0 
alpha is therefore 0.1. Now when we're producing an interval estimate, remember our, our formula is x bar plus or minus that margin of error. So there's the t that corresponds with so many degrees of freedom. And this is alpha divided by 2, not alpha. So we have to keep that in mind. We're not looking for 0.1. We're going to be looking for alpha divided by 2, so 0 0.05. And then this is times the uh, standard error, so s over root n. So x bar plus or minus. Let's go find that t value. And this is the t that corresponds to an area of 0 0.05. So, again we have, what's our variant? We need to know what our t distribution is. I have n minus 1 degrees of freedom, n is 5, so our degrees of freedom, n minus 1 is 5, minus 1 is 4 degrees of freedom. Okay, so we look down this first column, 4 degrees of freedom. That's that one variant of that is relevant for the problem. We can ignore pretty well everything else. So all I need here is this row of t values that correspond with these probabilities. So our probability that we're looking for, remember it was t with 4 degrees of freedom and alpha divided by 2 was 0.05. So if I look at 0 0.05 is right here, so that gives me my value of 2.132. Okay, now you can come back here. So this is 2.132, and that's our t value. That's our answer to part D, 2.132. Now to get the limits for part D, well, we just need to calculate what this margin of error is. We already have our standard error, 18.53. Uh, sorry, our standard deviation is 18.53 divided by square root of our sample size, which is 5. So x bar plus or minus. Let's calculate what this is going to be. 2.132. Times 18.53 divided by 5 square root equals 1767. 1767 is our margin of error. So we have our point estimate. Uh, oops, yeah, point estimate was 307.8. And this is plus one margin of error. This is minus one margin of error. So if we get our calculator out again, 307.8, that was our mean, plus 17.67, so 325.47, and lastly, 307.8 minus 17.67, 290.13, and there we have it. There's our answer for part D. Again, the inevitable question of, you know, so what? What are these numbers? You know, we have all these formulas, all these numbers, these calculations. So what do they mean? Well, again, this is an interval estimate. In this case, this is a 90% interval estimate for an unknown population mean. If we knew what the population mean was, we wouldn't have to do any of this stuff. Uh, life would be easier, but we don't know what the population mean is, so this is our, en our interval estimate for it. In this case, it's 90% confidence interval, so I can say I am 90% confident that the true unknown population mean uh, is somewhere in this interval. I don't know where, but it's somewhere in this interval. There's a 5% chance that it's out here. There's, of course, a 5% chance that it's down here. But there's a 90% chance that it exists within uh, between 290 uh, kilowatt hours and 325 kilowatt hours. Okay, good. I hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.